Well, crap, I guess I'm into Fortnite now. Hey everybody, this is Midnight Persona here, and I'm back to talk about a little game that I've been enjoying lately. And I know what you're thinking, but Midnight, isn't Fortnite for, like, children and tryhards? Well, yes, but the game can actually be pretty fun itself as well. Honestly, when this game first came out, me and my husband were actually pretty excited to play it, but then they took away a lot of the attributes about the game that we were actually really excited about. So, for quite a few years, we just decided we didn't want to play it because of the fandom and the things that they changed that we were really excited for. Not to mention, a lot of battle royales really weren't our thing, and the fandom wasn't a good fandom. But then, Season 3 happened. Those of you who know my husband know he's a really big Star Wars nerd, and so am I, but the thing that really ended getting me was the Marvel skins. Now, for most games, I can resist skins, and they really don't have a heavy hold on me. Uh, don't look at my League account, don't look at my League account, please don't look at my League account. But because they decided to bring up Star Wars in the new season, my husband really wanted to give it a shot. Because all we had to do was get the battle pass and then play a few rounds and possibly get enough to get Darth Vader. And then this strange thing happened. The more we continued to play, the more we actually really enjoyed the game. Even one of our friends who is very, very hipster and will be like, no, I refuse to play a game that's super popularized by other children and people, actually started wailing out pretty hard on this game and buying all his favorite characters and all his favorite skins and having a blast of a time with us. In fact, most of the time he wants to play more than we do. Now, I'm in no way saying I'm good at this game. In fact, I'm okay at this game. I'm actually a pretty decent sniper though. And if I'm being honest, I'm relatively new to the battle royale situation. But there was something about the quirkiness and stupidity of this game that just really made me smile. In fact, in most cases, my anxiety makes it kind of hard to play because when people spook me jumping out of places, it throws me off a little bit and it makes my gameplay kind of go off. Lucky enough, I have a wonderful team of friends who play with me and don't really judge me when I have problems like that. And I won't lie, I'm still not a really big fan of the fandom of this game. However, I don't think the game itself deserves any kind of hate. It's actually pretty good, other than the fact of a few issues it's had a while back with copyright and not giving people their dues, the game itself is pretty fun to play. It seems like they're trying to fix the issues that they had with other creators by taking their dances and things like that, but I'm not exactly 100% sure about that. But I really can't lie when I say this game was is absolutely fun, and I kind of regret not giving it a chance in the beginning. I know sometimes I get stubborn and I get mad at situations and games when they don't do what I want, but honestly, I think this game is really worth a shot now. Not to mention, with the character skins and the way this game works, I run into some really funny situations with some really stupid characters. And as a side note, can I just say this game has lore? And on this channel, we love a good lore-based game. We love RPGs and we love any game that has a really good story to it. Even if that story is a bit confounded and weird like Kingdom Hearts. But I gotta say, I'm hooked now, and I guess I'm a fan of Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. I stream Fortnite sometimes on my Twitch channel, so why don't you go check that out? Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, like this video. If you like me, subscribe. Go check out my Twitch and see some of my Fortnite adventures. And let this be a lesson. Always be willing to try things again if at the first time it didn't seem appealing to you. You never know what might happen. Anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely evening.